Health and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. Okay, welcome. So this is a continuation of um, graphing equations. I promised I was going to do uh, more questions. Okay, uh, the first, kindly was watch the first video on graphing equations one, because it's like an introduction how to graph. But sometimes the GED tests don't put the question forward, you know, straightforward, just the way I did. I answered, um, uh, I worked on the part one. All right. So there can be some questions that are kind of twisted, but it's still saying the same thing about graphing. So I, I brought four, four of those uh, particular type of questions. So you don't get confused when you see it, you don't get scared. Like, you know, you feel it's something else out of, out of, uh, you know, uh, graphing equation, but it's still the same thing. So it's all about understanding what the question is saying. Okay. That it is still graphing equation. So I have four questions here. Okay. That, um, you know, the test can bring out. Okay. In, in this particular format. All right. So please do make sure you watch this video to the end. And also please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. Okay. You can also check out our website. Uh, sorry. No, I don't know. My screen recorder isn't um, giving me, uh, that great. I don't know why it's blocking this, but here our website is www.dtdtwgdprep. Okay. dot com. Okay. For for free summary notes, study guides, free practice question, your GED formula sheet downloads. Okay. You can check the website there and you can also join our Facebook group, our Reddit group, you know, ask questions about the GED there in whichever state you are in the US, be it Arizona, New York, you can, you know, ask. We have a wonderful community of over 23,000 members in the Facebook group that would support you in your GED journey. Okay. So, and if you require one-on-one -on -one tutorial, you can also contact me. My email will be in the video description box of this video. Okay. So. Now, these four questions, you know, so most students say I do to do, I, <laughs> without um, teach, teaching them this, I just throw this question to them after I introduce graphing equation. And they're like, is this the same topic? And all that, it's the same topic. Now, look at this question. It says, point A is located at this. Okay. Remember, coordinates, your ordinate pair, this is X, and your ordered pair, I mean, this is X and this is Y. Okay, located at this, a graph of which of the following equation would pass through point A. Okay, so which of the following equations will pass through this point A? All right, so what do you do in this instance when you get this kind of question? All you need to do is you have to test on each of this, the option, put in your value of X at zero, put in your value of Y, as minus negative four. And whichever becomes true, that would be the equation. Okay, that would be the graph of the equation that will pass through this point. Okay, so this point has to be true on one of these equations. Now, look, let's try uh, point uh, option A. This is uh, 2x minus 5y equal to 4. So whatever we get here must be equal to 4. That's what it means for the equation to be true. So our x is zero from here. So that'll be two in parentheses. You know how to evaluate the expressions. Okay, I've created that. And our y here is negative four. So wherever you see y puts the negative four. So two times zero is zero. And this is uh, negative five times negative four. That'll give us a negative 20. Is it equal to four? No, it is not equal to four. So this is not our equation. Let's try b. B says 5x negative 2y equal to 6. So our x is 0. Okay, we're still on question 1. And our y is negative 4, right? Equal to 6. So this would be 0. Negative 2 times negative 4. That will give us a positive 8. Remember our sign rules. When 2 negative multiply, it gives us positive. Is 8 equal to 6? No, it is not. So it is not this equation. Let's try C. Let's come here. That's 4x minus 3y equal to 5. So that's 4 in parentheses 0, negative 3 in parentheses y is negative 4 equal to 5. Now, negative 3 times negative 4, that's a positive 
12 equal to 5. Is it equal? No, it is not. So this is also wrong. Now let's find for D. Okay. So D is 4x negative ne minus 3, 3y equal to 12. So we'll put x as 0, the negative 3, y as negative 4 equal to 12. Now this will give us 0. And negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12. And this is equal to 12. So this is the graph, okay, of uh, this is the equation, all right, that would pass through this point. So this is our correct answer, option D. So this is how you solve this question. Now, uh, and you can easily use your GD calculator to, you know, evaluate, impute, okay? Uh, I think I've done a video on how to um, um, evaluate him using your GD calculator. I have done that. So it's all I forgot to mention. There's a course on the website where I have curated everything on algebra. All right. So you don't need to, if you're having problems on algebra, just go there. It's free. All you need to do is just register. It's free from the basic algebra to down to your slopes and function, all videos. I think over. Over 20 videos there, arranged and curated. I am also working on the worksheets for you. Okay? So everything free on the website. I'll leave the link to that course in the video description box of this video. Okay, so let's get on to question two. Question two say, where does the line? This is the line equation. Okay? Where does this linear line equation line cross the y-axis? You know, this is y. You know, this 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 graph is actually for this question. But well, let's just let me use this to explain this. Where does the line this cross the y-axis? What it means cross that's when it intercepts, where does it cross y? This is y. So where at what point does this line touch y? It can be here, it can be here. We don't know where. All right. But at what point does it touch y-axis? Okay, and you know that if a line touches y-axis, it means that the value of x must be zero. Okay, if you are looking for where the line will touch the y-axis, if you trace down, the value of x must be zero. So for a line to cross, uh, to get the point where the line will cross the x, the y-axis, x must be equal to zero. Okay, so you put in the value of x as zero into this equation to find y. Okay, so we have here y minus 2 in parentheses, uh, our x is 0, equal to 3. This times this is 0. So we have y minus 0 equal to 3, which is the same thing as, you know, this will cancel out. So y is equal to 3. Okay, so uh, our point where this line, we cross the y-axis is when x is 0 and y is 3. Okay, so it's going to cross here. All right, and our right option here is option D. Okay, so as simple as that. Don't get confused. Please, I know with this, with this explanation, you won't get confused about this question. Okay, it's as easy as that. Easy peasy. Okay, now uh, question three is, where does the line, so it gives you another equation, cross the x-axis. Now, this is the x-axis this time. So it means, where does it cross on the x-axis? Is it here or here? Okay, so it means if it crosses, if that line, the, whichever point it touches the x axis, it means when you trace, y must be zero. Okay, so y, in this case, y must be what zero. So you put in the value of y as zero into this equation to solve for x. So we put here zero equal to negative 2x, negative 6. Let's take this negative 2x here, it becomes a positive 2x equal to this negative 6 will still be here and remain the same because it's not moving. The sign of 6 is negative. Don't forget, please, I have, you know, when I... When I'm tutoring students, they just uh, they just leave out the negative, and the funny thing with with the examination is that they know that you might make that the examiner knows that you might make that mistake. The sign of a number is always in front of it. Don't just neglect this. So six is a negative. Okay. So to get x, we divide both sides by two. I've treated um, one step equations, two step equations on that course. So. Do watch it if you don't know how to do this. All right. So x will be equal to negative 6 divided by 
three, that will give us a negative, uh, I mean, divided by two, that will give us a negative three. So our values, our coordinate pair will be a negative three comma zero. So it means that um, the line will cross, will cross on the negative part of the x-axis, okay? So our answer here is negative three comma zero and our right option here is option B, okay? Now, let's go on to the first question. Sometimes you might now get questions like this on the GED that would give a graph, put a line, all right, and ask you which equation of the line is shown on the graph above, okay? I know when you see this, you're like, how am I supposed to know? You know, you have several equations here, and I'm like, why? How do I know? Okay, now, it's as easy as, as you, very easy. So all you need to do is, on your on the graph given just pick an easy point i always like um pick an easy point that crosses the point that crosses whichever part be it your uh y uh, x axis or your y axis this is your y and this is your x be it on the y axis or x axis axis so pick a point so i will pick this point where this line touches the y axis all right and where it touches the y-axis is, this is a negative two, and this is a zero. So at this point, our coordinate pair is what? A zero, x is a zero, and y is a negative two, okay? You know, the, the lower part of uh, the y-line is negative, okay? So this is a negative two. You can see this negative three, negative. So where it touches, crosses this y-axis, this is a negative two, and also, where um, an a and x is what zero at this point so i will pick these two points all right so i will pick these two points this uh ordinate pair this point exactly all right and try to test each of my options which will be true for this point just just like the way we did uh question one can you see that so you can see there's a twist but the same method now let us test now so we have two y minus three x equal to 2. So remember, our 0 is x, our y is negative 2. So we have 2 in parentheses, negative 2 minus 3 in parentheses. So wherever you see y, put negative 2. Wherever you see x, put 0. Okay? Equal to 2. So this is 2 times negative 2, that's a negative 4. And negative 3 times 0 is a 0. Okay? So equal to 2. So we have finally negative 4 equal to 2. Is it equal to 2? No, it is not. So this is not our answer. Let's test for B. B says 7x minus 2y equal to 9. Okay? So x is 0, negative 2, and y is negative 2. All right? This will be 0. Negative 2 times negative 2, that would give us a positive 4 equal to 9. Is it true? No, it is not 4. It's not equal to 9. So we cross this. Let's try for C. C says x minus 3y equal to 6, where x is 0. Negative 3, y is what? Negative 2 equal to 6. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. Yes, this is true. So this is the equation of the line. All right, that's one of the points is what? 0 and negative 2. Let us, tr let's still test the last one and you see it is also wrong so 5x minus 2y equal to 3 where uh, x is 0 and y is what negative 2 and equal to 3 so this is 0 negative 2 times negative 2 that's 4 equal to 3 it is not equal to 3 you see what i said okay so here our answer is what option c so this is how you solve this question all right, you can see everything still lies within graphing equations. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much uh, for staying tuned. And don't forget to please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family, loved ones preparing for the GED, your groups. Okay, and you can check our website, dtwgedprep.com. Okay, uh, GED, GED is quite easy, dtwgedprep.com. Okay, dot com. Okay, for free summary notes, study guides, and also the course, the link to the course. All links will be in the video description box of this video. You can join our Facebook group, our Reddit group, all right, for more support, resources, and motivation. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. 
is the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. And he's the one who's going to give us that life here on earth, heaven on earth here. He can do it for us. Okay, in him is victory over every battle, every challenges in our lives, be it financial, spiritual, marital. Jesus has the key. He has the answer. He has the solution. Please come on to him today. Give him all your burdens and he will give you peace. He will give you rest from every struggles in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. So he is waiting for you. And the best thing is he is going to give you eternal life. All right, because there's life after death. All right, and that life is going to give you the life in heaven at last. So thank you. I wish you success in your GED test and also success in your in life. You are destined to win.